the Amos Toy Room. We're going to unbox from McFarlane Toys in our Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here is the very brand new Lord Covenant Spawn. This doesn't come free. Then I will steal it. Then what? Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room Come from My Room to Yours. And today we're going to unbox and review from McFarlane Toys in our Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here is Lord Covenant Spawn. This beauty is for ages 17 and up, comes with 22 points of articulation and is ready for battle. You can see this beautiful spawn right there kicking back behind his window of pain, locked in his plastic prison with the whole new color scheme to him. This thing is really nice. I like what they're doing at McFarlane Toys due to the fact that you can see a lot of these other variants right here as we have the first spawn that was released uh, for this series. He came with the sword. We had the Curse of Apocalypse gold label spawn, which you could look at Walmart online to see if they still have any. And then you have the Blood Feud Hunter spawn and also you have another variant which was an exclusive that brought the battle axe and now we have the lord covenant spawn available to us this came to us from the big bad toy store and is in stock and ready to ship now so hit them up go online and get that sucker within a week and this could be yours get yourself one all right so we're going to turn it to the side you can see that beautiful side font right there looking real cool as it starts to etch around you can see the mortal Kombat dragon just starting to go through the box right there if you guys have not noticed there you see lord covenant spawn in action figure form ready for battle how he could look if you pose him that way also right there to the side you could see more of lord covenant spawn i i made the mistake of saying this is for ages 17 and up it is for ages 14 and up folks so ages 14 and up if you are 14 and up you want this product hit your mom and dad up say hey get me one head over to the big bass toy store and get yourself one i believe that they're also available at gamestop so hit up gamestop you might be able to get yourself one there or elsewhere you can look at amazon see if they have one um and just check around or pay the upper seller price at ebay and you're going to pay a lot more money uh, to get your product but you will get a product all right folks so what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this guy to save some time and we're going to review him folks so first off we want to point out that this spawn from the top of the stand to the top of the head roughly around seven and a quarter inches uh, which is slightly around i don't know slightly a little over 18 centimeters and then if you go to the top of the point of the cape, that's roughly around seven and a half inches, which translates to slightly under or around 19 centimeters. Give or take. All right, this beautiful spawn brung a stand. I had a stand like this. You can see the Mortal Kombat thing right there. Let's point that out right there. When you pose these guys on there, try and use the leg that has the bigger guard on it um, because it, he will tend to hold better. If you put them with the other leg, they tend to fall over all over the place. Uh, so maybe next time, take that in, into consideration. Maybe they could put the label on the other side that says Mortal Kombat. Um, I don't know, um, but I know that these stands, I'm grateful that they put them in but they don't always work um, to hold these guys up so but that's the best way that i could get them to come up all right folks so he brings his uh battle sword right there you can see right there this is very this is very very similar to the original one you can see there it's just repaint it on the first variant I do not have the regular spawn variant with the mace version. I am tending to get it. I just keep forgetting about it. Uh, I'm just very happy that they're keeping us happy with all this. 
you can see this new blue color scheme that they have. This is nice because in the game Mortal Kombat 11, we all know we love changing skins. And when you could play a fresh new skin, it is nice. It keeps you playing, keeps you playing the game longer. We enjoy it a lot. Let's give him a final turn for you could see before we review this beauty. Very nice. They also have up for pre-order right now. Pre-orders are for September uh, at the Big Bad Toy Store of a brand new spawn coming out. Uh, the Mail Fix spawn. So this is going to have a whole new sculpt, whole new mold. I've already pre-ordered mine. They are up for pre-order right now for $19.99 at the Big Bad Toy Store. And it's usually a $4 flat $4 shipping rate to get it to your house. Check them out and pre-order it today it is a beauty and it's going to look very nice here at most horror when we get one and uh if you can't get yourself one then please tune in because um i will love to review it and hopefully um you guys will enjoy it all right folks so it's review time with this spawn let's see how far his head can go down very nice goes up super nice hits that michael meyer side to side very nice Obviously, it does spin all the way around if you choose to have it do that. Very nice. I like the way that his whole sculpt looks. You can see his face. I love that. I, I'm just Spawn. I, I mean, I love what McFarlane has been doing. They're, they're staying relevant. And when they first came out in the 90s, um, you could see if you guys look in the background um, here at Moe's Toy Room, I have the original first one on the wall along with the 50th anniversary and a few other ones. Um, I actually have the other ones put away in Spawn Alley and the Spawn Mobile and the Violator Chopper and all that. Because I've been collecting a long time. Okay, but I wanted to put these guys up and put them out with the Mortal Kombat figures. So that's why they're out on display. But yeah, I love these guys. So I'll be buying them all day long. All right, folks, so let's take a look at his arms. They do hit 90. Very nice. He has that real heavy cape. This is heavy, and it's very rubbery. You can check that out. I like the way that they put the wash on it all the way through. You can just see the paint scheme. It's just nice. And then right here, you look on his arm. He, has, he should have that butterfly cup joint right there at the shoulder. It is a joint that is right up in there, and it's very hard to see. So maybe if I can get his cape up yeah see that you can see it right there there it is okay what that does is it allows that shoulder to go up and down and pivot forward and backwards and gives it more momentum and then you can see he has that bicep swivel which if you hold the top of the shoulder you can see that bicep swivel double jointed arms is this double jointed yeah yep there you go looking real cool same all the same on the other arm all the way around very good movement just i love these figures these guys are nice the only thing is yes he does have movement amongst the hands you can see right there but with all this all his garment this in the way all his battle garment it's very hard to get anything out of that but it works it's there super nice go right below his chest area right there you can see this spawn has some action swivel right there and then he also has swivel at the waist, which gives him that beautiful ab crunch. He has his chains that are loose. These aren't real chains uh, like the ones that uh, they brung on the Kickstarter spawn. Um, I did review that one. Um, uh, go out in my library and check it out if you would like to see the Kickstarter spawn. Um, yeah, I did a whole review on it and it just choked me up because I was so happy when I first got it But that one had real chains on it and then let's go right below his his uh, Trunk area right there. You can see he has some hip movement right there legs go forward back Hits that Anderson Silva really nice. This is a Mortal Kombat how he is in Mortal Kombat Just very flexible Bruce Lee kick all day long super nice. I love it Okay, does he have upper thigh swivel? No, not feeling it, but he does have double jointed knees. No swivel at the knee either. 
and the knees go double jointed so they come up and then up again you can see the two pins same as the other leg no swivel ab above the shin area um, and then his feet obviously move not this one so much but they do hit down and then they both go up well this one barely goes up right here because it's stopped it's hindered by that and then if you see here he has the toe bend you got a toe bend on there and then you can see it better with this foot okay and as far as tilt rocker no nothing really there um that's my review for spawn folks so let's take a look and put them side by side with all the other spawns we all know that male bolgia down there where he's at has a whole lot of spawns right here um let's put him next to the blood feud hunter let's put him next to the gold label curse of apocalypse spawn right there with the first release from the mcfarland toys spawn and then you'll have the special edition spawn right there with the battle axe you can see all them put together side by side all right folks so what we're gonna do is we're getting ready to wrap this thing up and we're gonna be right back all right, folks so that'll do it from most to yours please like share and subscribe to this channel also hit us up on instagram at mo's toys that's m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s mo's toys on instagram also we are on tiktok so head over to tiktok go to mo's toy room and there we are and you can also check us out on twitter so go to twitter if you're on twitter hit us up at mo's toy room at super diablo 5150 that's mo's toy room at Super Diablo 5150, um, hit us up on Twitter. So from most to yours, good night, everyone.